This is a quick preview of Module 2 of our Microsoft Project Server 2010 for Project Managers module. We'll go through just a, a few steps here. The very first thing you'll do uh, after you've launched the Microsoft Project Web App is you will click on the Project Center. So this module is going to cover um, all the ins and outs of working with the Project Center including the new ribbon interface as you can see here as project loads up that we have new commands that are found on the projects tab and notice there's also a browse tab here I can go back and forth and stay in the within the project center so quite a few new areas starting left to right you can see this new project area where you can initiate new proposals and projects you also notice that you have an open button here so that if I have a particular project selected I can click on the open drop down and notice the multiple options I have there. Um, then under the navigate area you notice here's the build team so if you are familiar with project server 2007 you remember that you would go into uh, an actions area to, uh, to build the team for a particular project. Um, here we have command buttons for getting to areas like the project site and new for um, for Project Server 2010 is the Project Permissions area, for example. Also, your views are slightly different. You'll notice under the data area, um, here we have a custom view. It's called Summary by Department. Um, otherwise, you would be in the default view, which is Summary. You'll also notice that you have a group option. And from the group drop-down, I can select something like owner, do a quick grouping here and then we have some of the other areas here in terms of share right I can export and I can print then I also have a show drop down if I expand this window out you'll notice that these different commands what happens is that they show up on the ribbon itself for me just to check so I don't always have to use the drop down but because of the confines of the screen you'll notice how they collapse into the actual command button itself then you notice things like filtering. I can create a custom filter here. If I'm looking for a particular uh, user, I can click on the custom filter. Then if I'm looking for maybe a particular owner, contains, uh, maybe I have a first name. Go ahead and find that. Notice how it's validating it. Allows me to find the projects that are owned by, in this case, Steve, Steve Masters. I can go back up and I can just right do no grouping and get back to where I was right if I go back into the filter area for example I can elect to not have any filter showing so this is just a quick overview quick preview of the module um, module 2 we obviously go into more areas like the grid control um, also the project permissions uh, the different opening options as well as saving and publishing from the from the project center area.